today's video is obviously a grocery haul. We're jumping right in. Um, if you didn't see last week's, you can go look in the description on the grocery haul playlist and watch it. Watch it. But we have started our Thanksgiving stock up of the year, and I start early to ensure that I get all that I need, and also try to catch some stale, some sales on some items. I'm sorry, y'all. I'm so tongue tied this morning. Um, but this was a Walmart grocery delivery, and I think I'm missing some items. I have to go look. I'm not sure. Some of the reduced sodium chicken broth. I always talk about this on grocery hauls, but anytime I can get reduced sodium or no salt added option on anything, I get it. And the reason why is because stuff tastes too salty for us and also just sodium is so high in foods that if it, if it needs salt, I would rather add like chicken bouillon or something with flavor to give it saltiness. So I got four of those. These are also keeping stocked up for Thanksgiving but I use these every week so I have to make sure my shelf is replenished. I got these from Michael. Um, I'm not picky. I could eat everything but I don't normally eat these. He loves Salisbury steak and um, I've made him homemade several times and he loves those too but he says he thinks these are good so I think this is like three dollars still so I grabbed that for him to have a meal option when I'm eating something that he doesn't want. I got these for Willow. I had to taste them because there are peanut butter minis and I've never seen peanut butter ones. Maybe I just missed the memo on it. But um, I guess because they're so small you cannot even tell there's peanut butter. So I feel like it was pointless to buy this type. I should have just bought the regular ones. But she'll still like it. I got this salami. I've been getting this every week. I explained on a grocery haul that I am trying to watch the nitrites and nitrates in a lot of deli meat. Because I do eat it frequently and I realized it had a lot of preservatives in it. So, um, I pay extra for this one. I got some cough drops because I organized our medicine cabinet the other day and realized that we didn't have any, um, menthol ones. We just had, like, soothing ones, and I like to have them because I feel like every time I get sick or a sore throat, it just hits me, and I need it right then. Um, I got a 8-ounce block of extra sharp cheddar. I actually got, why is my camera not focusing this morning? Hello. Okay, I actually had two of these on my list, but I only got one, so I don't know what the deal is with that, so I'll end up needing another, and I'll probably have to go in the store anyways, because I got this to make, like, olive garden salad at home. This is the toothpaste Michael uses in the morning. We use the Crest 3D White, but he said it's so minty that it messes up the taste of his coffee, so he uses this in the morning and then the other in the evening. I just use the 3D White every time I brush. Um, it doesn't bother me that bad. And then Willow is hooked on these little Dove dark chocolate. And they have a pumpkin on it. And she hears me talk about pumpkin spice. So she has deemed it that it is called chocolate spice. Which is the cutest thing ever. But um, when they take away the pumpkin ones, I'll just buy her the regular. I got this for like my arms and legs. I used to, when I would get out the shower, I would put oil on and then give it a minute. And man, we are struggling with this focusing today. I would put oil on, give it a minute, and then I'd put lotion over it, and I haven't done the oil in forever, and my skin just, like, felt like it was better when I did that, so I got one of those. I got six boxes of Jiffy cornbread mix. Um, this is what we use in our Thanksgiving dressing. I know a lot of people do homemade or, like, more plain ones. They'll say this one's kind of sweet, but this is what works for our recipe, and my mom has been making this dressing recipe, I know, for 30 years, if not more. <clears throat> so I got six of those and I generally use six to eight depending on how much I make. I'll probably use eight this year because I'm making two full pans. I'm going to have to turn this light off. Okay, I can't see as good but I think the light was making it hard to focus so I'll just use flash. Still not focusing. Okay, so I got this uh, beeswax stick. This is for your hair like the little flyaways. And um, it's an olive oil one so it's supposed to be better I guess. But sometimes when I do like a slick back ponytail or hairstyle, I have all these little pieces. It's breakage and new growth, and they won't stay down. So I'm going to try this out. I see everybody recommending using a wax stick. We use Taco Bell sauce a lot. I got two of them. I used to buy four or five at a time where we had several on the shelf because it's very easy to use one of these within, you know, two meals. Um, but this is now $2, so I only got two of them. I got some more gnocchi. My sister and I liked the soup that I made the other day, which I've made it before. I knew I liked it, but she said she wanted more. So I got more of it. Um, I got a little thing of veggie dip for to dip some um, carrot chips in. I don't know why, but the carrot chips in the veggie dip or the dill pickle dip is really good. I think it's called dill pickle or southern fried pickle dip. They're both good. 
Um, I got Michael some batter mix seasoned fries. I'm not huge on seasoned fries. If I want to fry, I just want it plain, but he loves the seasoned ones, so I got him those. And then my favorite is sweet potato fries, so I got a bag of these because I got some fully cooked um, burgers at Sam's Club yesterday. I needed two onions, so I had a yellow and a sweet where I had a little bit of variety, but the, let's see, the, the yellow was out of, or the sweet was out of stock. I don't know. Can't remember. I think this is a yellow onion. So I got that one. Got some bananas. Got this really big bag of pepperoni pizza rolls. But all three of us will eat these. And um, it'll last a while and it was a better deal. So I got the big one. Here I go again. Doing my hauls like this. <laughs> I got another bag of Honeycrisp apples. They're still on sale. They're like $5 now. And they're normally $10 a bag. Honeycrisp is my favorite. And then I got Granny Smith just to kind of break it up where we had some green ones and red ones. I got Willow two containers of the pumpkin puree baby food. She loves the pumpkin, squash, and sweet potato. But she won't eat any of those three things like as a whole food. She has to have the baby food puree. It's a preference of hers. Um, I got her some of these. My nephew and niece eat them. And when Willow eats them with them, she talks about them. But if I just outright buy them, I feel like she doesn't eat them. So I'm going to see if she wants them again, I guess. And then I got her some little unsweetened applesauce cups. I'm going to save the cups probably for when we're like going somewhere. And then um, there is the jar of the unsweetened. That I'll put it in the fridge. She can have it here. I got another bag of corn chips. We still have some, but it's soup season. And next week, <clears throat> I believe our fall wintry weather is actually setting in. We're going to have 60s and 50s in the day and 40s at night. So I'm shifting into soup mode. <laughs> I also got Willow some dice pears and then the mandarin orange cups. I was going to get some at Sam's Club, but all they had was the pear or the peach ones, so I couldn't get those there. I got some of these. This is just Walmart's version of Lucky Charms. They don't taste as good, honestly. Um, it's kind of just like sugar tasting. There's no distinct flavor. But I randomly wanted this, and I don't eat like sugary type cereal hardly ever. Just maybe a few times a year and I wanted Lucky Charms so I should have just sprung and bought Lucky Charms because this isn't that great but it'll do um I got some two gallon freezer bags I've been needing these mainly because I, my sourdough bread making now whenever I'm giving a loaf away I don't have any way to put or anything to put it in and it'd be better if I had a bag I got some celery for the gnocchi soup that I'm going to make. And Willow likes to snack on it. And then I also got this big. I'm trying not to knock all this over. I think this is the 16 ounce clamshell. Whatever. Of spinach for salad. And for the gnocchi. But I do have a little bit frozen. So I'll only have to use a little out of this. Um, I tried to get the Nespresso original pods. The blonde Starbucks one. This is my favorite pod is this one and the lore coffee ristretto i believe and i was gonna place an order for them but i was like no i'm gonna just add some of my grocery order and get the starbucks ones well this is not the one i needed they were out of the original so they sent me the virtual that wouldn't even be compatible with my machine so more pineapple juice i get one of those every week i thought they changed the label last week the pack i got was different but y'all can see it's back to the same way some iced tea bags. I like the Lipton mini bags because I can like better customize how strong my pitcher of tea is, especially depending on how long I have for it to sit. But I can't get them on Walmart anymore. They're just like not even carrying them. So this is what I got. Also got the Club Cracker little mini snack packs. I like those because they don't go stale and it's a perfect amount, but they were out and that was my substitution. Y'all know I'm hooked on the strawberry liquid IV because I'm talking about it every week. It's kind of expensive, but I feel like I need it. It's just I don't know it's very refreshing and I feel better after I've drank it I also got two bags of all-purpose unbleached flour for sourdough bread making and um, or I, that's what I use for my starter and then when I make bread I use that or a bread flour I got another refill for my Zevo trap I need to show you all this if y'all question whether or not these work like I did you can take my word for it <laughs> they work um, we have these little gnats, like fruit fly type gnats, and then you can see there's some little moths on there. And in the night, the light shining up in our house, they just congregate if we open the door, even if it's not even dark. And this has been honestly like a lifesaver. I feel like I have seen a lot less flying around my face and drive me crazy. So if you're wondering if the Zevo, I guess it's insect trap works, it does. I'm going to take this one out and refill it in just a little bit.
I feel like I see a lot of YouTubers and stuff recommend products, and I'm like, especially if they have a lot of followers, I'm thinking, I wonder if they're trying to get a sponsorship or something, and it doesn't really work, so I never trust anybody, but um, I took the plunge and tried it, it worked, so I'll keep buying it. Um, I got Willow, some of these, she likes the peanut butter ones, not the chocolate chip ones, we bought a box at Sam's, it's their, a much better deal, and it's mixed, and her and Michael both like the peanut butter ones, but she will not eat just the plain chocolate chip ones. And so she told him the other day that he had to eat the chocolate chip ones where she could get some peanut butter ones. So she got some more. Um, I got a case of the LaCroix Guava. I had been adding this to my cart and then removing it every time I placed a grocery order thinking, no, I don't need any more sparkling water. But I've seen, I think two people now say this is the best flavor. So I got it. Um, I was finally out, y'all. During the pandemic, I stocked up on Lysol wipes and everything. I was pregnant first, second pregnancy after a loss and um ended up having her at 26 weeks so we had NICU time and all that I I had my disinfectant products and everything but I just used my last container of Lysol wipes from all the way in 2020 where I bought I think like a, a probably like 20 of them and have just cycled through them but I got the lemon lime blossom ones and then for a change I got the crisp linen it smells pretty good I'll probably put I normally put the lemon in the kitchen but I think I'll put these in the kitchen and the lemon in the bathroom. I also got four gallons of drinking water. And there's a case of water on the porch that I didn't get or didn't bring in. Two bags of the Honey Breast Tyson Chicken Tenders. If you haven't tried these, try them. They're very good. They're probably about the closest to McDonald's chicken nuggets in my opinion. Except they have that little bit of sweetness to it. Um, Willow eats those. I eat them. Michael eats them. Everybody eats them. They're very good. And that is all for our grocery haul for this week. So as per usual, I said I was going to try to keep this one shorter and it ended up being the same amount of time because I feel like I can't just show y'all a grocery item and be like, oh, I bought cheese. Like I have to tell y'all, <laughs> I have to tell y'all why we buy that kind, what we're going to do with it, if I can get a better deal somewhere else, whatever. So it always ends up being longer than I expect. But anyways, thank you guys for watching this video. My stock up is different from others. I feel like others mostly have um, a large like gross, but specified grocery haul. Like they go specifically to go buy Thanksgiving stuff or place an order, whatever, or um, people will do like two orders. And <laughs> I'm not like that. I already explained my process of how I buy stuff. So I do start early, but I feel like there's a reason that I start early. I have to. And also some of my food I prep ahead. So like my dressing, um, I usually make a broccoli and cheese rice casserole and then a sweet potato casserole. I normally make that like in advance by a few weeks, put it together, put it in the freezer, and then it's ready to go. And I don't have as much to actually cook or assemble. I have hiccups, hiccups as usual. Um, and also the flavors seem to like soak in marinade better and the flavor and texture comes out. So I do actually, I guess it's not really buying in advance if I'm making it in advance. Thank you guys for watching this video. Please remember to subscribe and have your notification bell on. I don't have a schedule, so notification bell will ensure you don't miss an upload. Um, as always, my email is in the description. If you need to contact me for collaboration or to review your product, I will see you guys in the next video. I have no clue what it is. <laughs> if you have anything that you would like to see, a specific suggestion for a certain type of vlog, you can drop it in the comments below. I might do it.